Welcome again back to my channel. Uh, thank you for joining me again today. Today I have an interesting recipe that I want to share with you guys. This is actually my first time making it, so I just I put some ingredients together that um, I hope are going to make for some delicious, savory, and kind of sweet uh, breakfast egg cups. So um, the star of the show, I guess, or of this recipe that um, I'm using is pumpkin, uh, pumpkin puree actually. This is one that's on the small side that I have left, but I've had several of them uh, a little bit bigger. These are really, really nice and tender, almost like baby squash. I also had the opportunity to be gifted a really big squash or really big uh, pumpkin that I uh, cut up and I shared with some friends and some families and some neighbors. So uh, what I did, just to quickly let you know what's in this jar, this is actually uh, pumpkin puree, okay? And um, I had a lot of pumpkin, and I like to use it in different things. So I, what I like to do, and what for me gives it the best flavor, is to uh, roast the pumpkin in the oven with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and a tiny sprinkle of cinnamon. And so once uh, that's roasted in the oven for about 30 minutes at 375, depending again on, on how much pumpkin you have, then you're just gonna let it cool and you're gonna take the, the skin off because I roast the pumpkin with the skin on for flavor as well. Then I just put it in my food processor and I make this puree. And then I have a couple of mason jars. You can even freeze these. I, I, I got three mason jars out of the pumpkin that I had, pumpkin puree, and I put two in the freezer, and I have this one that I knew I was gonna use for different things. So, moving on to the recipe. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I have here um, that I'm gonna use for the egg cups. And again, this is my first time making it, so I'm just kind of like winging it, putting things together, but I think it's gonna make for a really nice, delicious, uh, unique uh, breakfast cup. So let me show you, I'm gonna bring my camera down. This is what I have so far. So um, I just have, I have six large eggs, okay? Full six large eggs in this, actually it looks like, nope, it's eight eggs. <laughs> oh, sorry, one of them, two of them are broken up. So there's eight large eggs in this bowl. We're gonna be needing some salt. We're gonna be using pepper. I have a quarter cup of very small chopped uh, white onion. Any onion that you have will work. If you like to use uh, the green onions, you can use those as well. Those are a little bit more pungent. And then here I have bacon. This is uh, about a half a cup. It is a half a cup of bacon pre-cooked that I had in the refrigerator and I just chopped it up in small pieces, okay? Again, we're gonna use our pumpkin puree and uh, I have some coconut milk. Uh, because this is gonna become like a dairy-free recipe, and so I'm using coconut milk. This is full fat, okay? So it's gonna help like create like a custard uh, moist recipe. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna use to sweeten this uh, a little bit is this uh, liquid stevia from Trader Joe's, which you guys already know that I love to use. And since we have bacon, <laughs> I figure what flavor, what sweet flavor goes good with bacon, uh, maple. So I have some maple extract here that we're also gonna be using. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'm just gonna beat these egg, eggs a little bit before I add the rest of the ingredients. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And uh, I forgot to tell you, my oven is preheated at 375. So you want to preheat your oven so that when this is ready, you just put them in the oven. All right, so we just broke up the eggs. I'm gonna just dump everything. These are the onions. If you don't like onions, you can leave the onions out. Um, you can even, for more flavor, cook the onions up a little bit in the on the pan and use that. I didn't want to do that, I'm being lazy today. I'm adding the bacon. And the bacon. All right, so, oops, I left some of the bacon in here. That's unacceptable. 
for the coconut milk, um, I'm gonna try, I think I'm gonna do a third of a cup. I think that should be enough, but again, experimenting. I love coconut milk. It's, it's almost like you're adding heavy cream. And since I did want a combination of like savory and sweet in, this, in these egg cups, I think this is perfect. If you want to use another milk or if you want to use um, heavy cream, you're welcome to. Okay. Um, I'm going to add oops, quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Actually, that was probably a little bit too much for me, but that's fine. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add the stevia. And this is going to depend on, uh, again, like always, like I always say, uh, the amount of stevia or sweetener that you're going to put in your uh, whatever recipe you're doing is going to depend on how sweet you want your um what you're baking and what you're making okay so i'm just gonna start out and again the pumpkin is gonna be pumpkin puree uh, there's no sugar in it i didn't add any sugar but it it is um it, it does have sugar okay so you want to uh find out kind of do your research on how many carbs it is if if you're looking into making sure you're not adding too many carbs into your meal and um but you know this is gonna make a good amount of serving so right now I'm gonna do one dropper of the liquid stevia and if you don't want to use liquid stevia you don't like the flavor and you prefer something else you can use a granular uh, granulated um, blend of uh, monk fruit monk fruit and erythritol or just erythritol straight you can do that or you can leave it out but it's part of the, the sweetness that I want okay now the maple extract Honestly, I, I love maple extract. It smells amazing. And I, I do like the combination, like I said, of maple and bacon. So let's do I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon, but you know what? I'm gonna do a little bit more. Okay, so that was almost a teaspoon. Smells amazing. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to um, now determine how much of whoa, the pumpkin puree we are going to use. And if you want, if you have a can of pumpkin puree, hey, then use that. Okay, I just happen to have this one on hand, so I'm gonna measure out. I'm gonna start out with a quarter cup, okay? That's more than a quarter cup. And this is what I wanna do. I don't want to add the pumpkin puree in here and just mix it in. Uh, what I actually want to do is I want to fill my muffin tins with this mixture and then add like a little bit, like a couple of dollops inside of each of the muffin cups. Mm, I can smell the bacon and the maple. That's amazing. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit extra pinch of salt because I'm adding stevia and I like, I think the ba that balances out a little bit of the bitter stevia flavor. Now, what I have here is just a muffin tin, 12 muffins. Uh, again, I don't know how many this is gonna make. It's all gonna depend on how big I make them or um, how, um, how tall I want them, uh, depending on the amount of eggs and batter that I'm gonna end up with. So you wanna make sure to spray your muffin tin really well so it doesn't stick, okay? And I'm just gonna lay it here on the side. And I think the best way to do this, you're gonna 
for them in there is using one of these because it has like a little lip. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna dump this in here. Go to waste. Oh, this smells amazing. All right. Still a little bit in here. I don't like any of my ingredients to go to waste. this over here so you can see what I'm doing uh, I'm, I'm a messy person today and I'm just gonna fill my cups my muffin tins as I go and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it as I go too because I, I want to make sure each cup has you know the best that I can uh, uh, even distribution of the bacon and everything else Okay, so here goes the first one, and I did that one about halfway full. I'll come back and see if I need to fill the other ones. I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely a fan of Ooh, that one got a lot of bacon. A fan of um, savory and sweet combinations. And um, I'll tell you a, a short story. I don't want to bore you, but my favorite omelet as a kid, because I've always loved bananas, has been an omelet that um, my mom used to make, and then I made it as an adult as well. And it was, um, we would get the bananas, not the bananas, um, the frying bananas that the Hispanics use plantains actually is what i should say oh, this one it's gonna have a lot of bacon it's probably the one i'm gonna taste <laughs> okay so that um we used to if we had like leftover plantains the sweet plantains i used to my mom used to make a, a omelet uh with those leftover um, plantains. I love that. Because again, I love the savory and the sweet. So she used to make an omelet that just cut up the leftover um, uh, fried plantains, the sweet ones, and just cut them up in small pieces. Just like, you know, and add it to like this, like I, I just did, just the plantains. That's it, just the sweet plantains. And some salt. And then put it on the skillet uh, with a little bit of oil and make an omelet. And to me, that was the most delicious because I love that combination. So this is kind of like how I arrived at this little concoction. So as you can see, I got 12 of them. So that's good. Um, and so now what I'm going to do is I have, I'm gonna, I have a quarter cup of this uh, pumpkin puree. Okay. And I'm going to try to do one teaspoon in each one. Um, I'm going to put... I'm gonna try to do two dollops, which is gonna equal a teaspoon in each one. And I guess now that I think about it, I can do this with banana too, but bananas do have a lot of sugar, or like plantains. But hey, you know, that's an idea. So as you can see, I'm just putting a little bit, I'll show you. I'm just kind of dumping it in there. Here, let me show you. And a quarter cup actually seems to be enough. See, I'm just dumping it on one side and on the other. This one needs a little bit more. I 
I can't wait to try this because I'm already imagining how good it's going to be. <laughs> it's going to bring me back to my childhood memories of the plantain omelets. Oops, I hope I didn't miss one up oh, this one. And as you can see, it's roughly about one teaspoon in each one. I think I'm gonna need to use a little bit more than a quarter cup, but honestly, a quarter cup, maybe a third of a cup of pumpkin puree for 12 of these, that's pretty low carb. Just make sure that you're not using pumpkin pie filling because that will not, that's not what you want. That has sugar and probably other stuff, spices and stuff. So I'm just gonna try to kind of see which one may have gotten last. All right, perfect. So you see, I even still have a little bit left in here. So I used uh, a quarter cup to, you know, quarter to a third of a cup. And they actually look really pretty already, just the, the colors, the mixing of the colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in the oven and since I've never made this before, usually, I mean, I've made breakfast cups before, um, like this in the same style, but not this recipe. And usually they take about 20 to 25 minutes, um, could take less. So you wanna see that they're browning up a little bit on top and they'll be done. Um, and they're gonna puff up a little bit, but not too much because we didn't use any baking powder or anything like that. So I'm gonna put these in the oven and I'll see you guys back once they're ready and I'm gonna taste them. Okay, here they are right out of the oven. They smell amazing. And they did puff up a little bit. So um, they took exactly 20 minutes um, in the oven. So as you can see, they look promising. They look promising. So I'm gonna wait till they cool down a little bit and then I'm gonna try them. Okay, so let's get ready to try one of these creations. They look and smell really good. So I'm gonna take the smallest one just to taste because I already had my lunch but I just want to taste and I'm gonna give you guys a close-up look it's it's almost like a little it's a muffin it's a little muffin looks like it, it even looks like it's got flour in it but it doesn't it's just the ingredients that um, we went over and you can see on top I love that you can see the uh, the pumpkin puree so let's try it and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion because again, this is my first time making it. And see, you can see the bacon, everything is pretty well distributed. So let's see. Mm. I love this combination. Pumpkin puree. It's very subtle because I didn't add that much. Remember we used about a, less than a third of a cup for all 12 of them. If you wanna add more pumpkin puree, you can. If you wanna add more sweetener, you can. Um, to, for me, this is the right combination. It's not overly sweet because I wasn't looking for that. I can taste the bacon, I can taste the onion. Uh, none of the flavors are overpowering one another. If that makes any sense so it's really good I'm gonna eat the whole thing mm. the maple extract I used two teaspoons and to be honest I wouldn't mind a little bit more of the maple flavor so uh, I don't know if it's the brand that I'm using or if I just didn't use enough because there's 12 cups so uh, next time I'm gonna definitely add more of the maple extract, but I can still taste it. It's just very subtle in the background. So anyways, conclusion, um, this is a great recipe. So if you enjoy watching videos like these, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and click that notification bell so that you find out every time I upload a new video. That way you don't miss out on any of the content. Thank you again for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.